Hello and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. You join me tonight for another painting workshop with Pascal, and this evening we'll be learning how to paint tattoos on Foul Dragon Fury from Scale 75. If you're brand new to the channel, click the heart to follow the live Twitch stream weeknights Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 7pm. Also, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to receive notifications from YouTube for the latest videos and updates. And now, on with the show! So, good evening, Pascal! Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Hello. So then, we have another workshop. What is the plan for this evening? Okay, I'll, um, I'll be doing some um, uh, body manipulations on Thal, the Dragon Fury, uh, in the sense of uh, painting her up um, for tattoos. But also I will be doing some, uh, if time permits, uh, face painting in the uh, in the style of, uh, you know, well, you know, Lagertha and uh, all the Viking kind of barbarian uh, chicks. Barbarian chicks, is that a technical barbarian, phrase? Yes, definitely. Did you not know? <laughs> no, clearly, obviously not. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So yeah, um, uh, I've got a, a couple of things set up here and uh, some uh, theory to to work it out. Something that um, I have done before, actually, on this stream, uh, but it's good to uh, review it again. And then uh, I'll be talking about tattoos, obviously, and uh, we'll we'll do some work. Let's see where we end up. Okay. So let's let's start with the theory then. Yeah. I cannot explain anything about tattooing to you because I'm not a tattoo artist. I'm a painter. We're going to do something simple in a monotone color because, uh, well, in, in the time of Vikings, they did not have that much color, uh, at least not in, uh, in tattooing. So we're going to be um, doing a one color tattoo. It's mostly line work. Uh, but we're going to be using uh, some um, painting tricks to make it uh, incorporated into the body. You know, because that's what a tattoo is. It's a, a ink put underneath the skin or inside the skin. So we're going to see how, how to simulate that, uh, which is actually pretty easy uh, tips and tr tricks. Um, nothing fancy there, but good to see. And then we're going to do the face painting, which is just painting. Uh, but we have to be um, very aware that these are two very different uh, kind of textures, right? So the one is uh ink underneath the uh, skin which is gonna have the a bit of the glow of the skin uh, in it and the other one is a uh, paint on the skin which is going to be much more matte than a tattoo would appear the first thing we what you want to do when doing tattoos is do your homework right and get some uh, definite research in it uh, to see uh, what your tattoo should be looking like uh, have some reference material uh, close by, uh, maybe even do some sketching um, on paper or on a photo uh, so that you can see what the effect is going to be uh, on your model. So um, class, got your notepads, because uh, the class is in. Here we go. So I've got a, a couple of stuff uh, prepared here. You see the paints that I'll be using. Uh, these are all scale 75 paints because it is a scale 75 um, model, obviously. Uh, we've got your blacks and whites. Uh, then I've got a really dark, this is a deep blue. Um, it's a really dark, dark blue, um, which is somewhat similar to um, deep sea blue, dark sea blue, sorry. Uh, that I really love, but I uh, but it's much darker. So we've got to play with it a little uh, to um, uh, do something with that color. I've got this. Uh, what is it called? Linden is great. You know, I know the colors, but I don't know the names. You know, it's uh, weird. Something like. That. But this is like a purple gray kind of thing. And then I've got a, a, a skin color which is somewhat similar to the, the skin color that I, that's on the model right now. This is pink flesh, and obviously we've got some water plus. Uh, and here's my research. So there's a phone and there's a booklet, and then I'm going to show you everything. What I'll also be using today is uh, like a pencil, and this is, uh, you, know, you know, these filling pencils. Okay, so first thing I did is uh, go on the internet, and I uh, just typed in a, a couple of key phrases and I was uh, looking up face face tattoos. 
and um, I could have done the, uh, the arm tattoos as well, but this is mainly for uh, painting the faces, right? So we've got some sort of a mood board here, and this is also uh, this is always good to do uh, when you're when you're trying to design anything. So get a mood board, uh, and this is this may not ex uh, especially be what I'm going to put on the model, but it's going to give me a good idea of what I want to do. And this is probably where I want to go with her face, right? Something like that. Or at least the, uh, the eye coverage. This is going to be scary because I did a lot of work on the eyes and I I'm, I'm hope I won't mess it up, right? So that's step one. Um, then what I do not have on this phone are pictures that I did and looking up um, Viking runes. My planning is to have this sort of thing wrapped around an arm like an arm band and i might even uh, add more uh, ways into that and you've got this yeah what is it a cross and uh, you can vary in these uh, figures uh, indefinitely i'm going to put that somewhere as well and then we've got all these runes here these are all different kinds of runes that i found and i'm gonna have them uh, on the on their side all the way up to their arm all right, uh, here's my white palette. I'm going to put it into uh, into the camera as well, so you can see the colors. Uh, white is blown out a lot, I see. But this is black, deep blue, the uh, gray, purple, white, and pink. So this is why I got the pencil. I'm going to draw out the, um, the the area where I want the uh, the runes to be, and because this is very thin. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm not going to botch it. Uh, one thing I did uh, earlier today was cover up in a uh, matte varnish. And I did it on purpose because uh, her skin is uh, airbrushed. And if I'm going to start glazing in uh, later on, um, I might disrupt that uh, paint job. All right, glazing is can be very uh, destructive on uh, airbrushing work. The first band is going to be on this arm. I'm not going to draw the entire tattoo. I'm just going to draw uh, some guidelines. These are the guidelines and I'm going to get some paint. This is a really dark blue. If I smear it out, you see what kind of blue it is, right? Really dark. This is too, um, too blue actually and uh, too vibrant. So I'm going to dull it down. Testing on the wet palette, my tip. There we go. That's the first band. Now I'm going to draw in the right line for the runes. It's going to be really thin. Cannot mess this up. Can you still see this? How, oh, yeah. how thin it is? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to talk. <laughs> you can breathe, guys. You can just breathe. Then the second line. So I'm messing it up a bit uh, in this area. Uh, if you can see it, it's, gonna, it's getting a bit too thick there. I'll probably uh, fix it with a room, which is easily done. I'm going to go over the last bend, uh, which is going to be a difficult one because I I want to have it filled up with, uh, I drew circles. I think I want to do uh, triangles in there. Here we go. So. Right, let's do some fun things. I'm going to do the triangles first in that lower area. And um, here's a good tip. So I can do each triangle and I'm constantly twisting my hand or I could first draw in all the lines one side which need some deliberate thinking of uh, how do they all end up and then we do the lines the other way around there we go that's the first part 
So I'm going to paint in some runes, and I'm just going to do random runes, of, obviously. And, and I'm going to start with that botched up area over there. And because if I can cover that and from that on, that's that's a good point to see how it goes around. I need to make these a bit thicker than the, the upper and lower lines. Because they have to be identifiable as, uh, as runes, obviously. And now it's going to get exciting because I'm near, near closing. Did I leave enough room for two runes? There we go. Awesome. <sighs> this this could be it. You know, you could keep leave it like this, and this would be awesome as well. Uh, but I am going to create some highlights. Obviously, I'm gonna get a bit more lighter version of that ink, and I'm gonna have a look where where does the arm catch light. And so it's obviously. In this area there's going to be a lot of light in here uh, and along this this line here i'm going to do this in a stippling motion like i said earlier as long as you got a really really fine tip the, that's that's all you need you could even do this with a, a number two brush as long as that tip is good but this is iffy, you know, uh, you got to retrace those runes, those really fine lines, uh, exactly on the dot. Right. So now we've got a nice drawing, um, but at this point, it's looking like it's uh, just put on freshly. And now I want to create the illusion that it's somewhat more underneath. And that's really going to be a very minimal, a very important step to do is I'm going to take uh, some skin tone, preferably the skin tone that you used. And I'm going to make a very, 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 very thin glaze out of it. And I'm just going to glaze over it. And it's just going to be thinly. And like I said, you'll hardly see anything. The thing is, there is going to be a layer of skin tone on top of it, like it, just like it would be in real life. Well, this is actually it, right? I can do a lot more tattoos, but it's actually all the same. Now we're going to paint this uh, this eye mask, which is heartbreaking to me because I actually did a lot of work on these, uh, this part here. I took this picture. This is an older picture and I started working on this. So I did a first rough sketch. What did I think of it? This is just drawing on your iPhone or on your phone, right? This is something that I tried first, uh, see what the color would be. Uh, then I was doodling in some uh, tattoos. You can see how I thought, all oh, this might be cool. Eventually, I ended up thinking that the tattoos on that side would be much better. And you see that I intended to do the cross here on her side, but that might be a bit too much uh, thug life, right? <laughs> then I thought uh, maybe do something with a color. Um, but th this um, eventually let me very close to something like um, God of War Kratos, which I immediately dismissed. So I've got to take good care of seeing where does this line go. So it's um, underneath her, um, what's it? Your eye, your brow, underneath your brow, the eyelids, eye, uh, lower eyelid, and just upper cheek. This is the area I want to create, and it's going to fade out towards the uh, sides. I'm creating a sort of a coal black, which is just not black. And uh, there's a little bit of gray in it, just a little hint of it. And what I want to do is uh, later on, is create a really matte finish on it. And um, I'm going to try to do it almost all glazing, or at least very, very thin. All right, it goes, there you go, nothing.
the thing is, at least there's no way back anymore right now, so I've got to keep going. That's it. Control Z, Control Z. (laughs) (laughs) That's one half. There we go. So, you create a bit more uh, grayish tones here. Oh, that's too light. Okay. So, highlights. Where do I put the highlights? Well, obviously, where you normally put the highlights on faces. She looks so much more menacing right now. So, we're going to take a bit of the pink flesh again. It gives some sense of uh, skin showing through. Instead of it being on top, it's actually thro- showing through. There. And there's one thing that I definitely wanted her to have. And that's this one. And that concludes the class for today. Excellent. Close it off with uh, class dismissed. And thank you so much for uh, being here. Have a good night, everybody. Uh, have a good night, monkey. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Okay. Cheers. Bye. All right, then, guys. There you go. So that is the end of tonight's workshop with Pascal. So have a good evening, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. But until then, bye for now.